Hey, what's going on YouTube? UA Reviews here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install an Under Armour football visor onto a Red L Rebel Speed helmet. Uh, and, and really, the way you install the Under Armour football visor, uh, it, it's pretty similar you know, to other helmets, uh, the way I'm going to do it. Um, it's just, I'm just putting it on the Rebel Speed helmet that I have. Uh, so starting out, uh, the really only tools you really need, uh, depending on your helmet, um, but for, with mine, I need a screwdriver. Uh, with the, the visor, you don't need uh, any. You don't need any tools like a screwdriver or anything like that. Uh, but first off, what you want to do is uh, unscrew uh, this screw here. And depending on you know how old your Rebel Speed is, mine's uh, mine doesn't have the quick release clips, so I actually have to manually uh, unscrew it to get the face mask loose. I'm not going to take the face mask off, but I'm just going to get it so I can kind of raise it and uh, get the right, uh, kind of so I can line the visor up a little better. And some people don't choose to do this, they just kind of shove it through there and pop it in. Uh, but I like to get it, uh, you know, the best fit possible on there. Uh, so you don't, I mean, you don't have to, but I would definitely recommend if you want to loosen these top screws up here as well. Uh, just a little bit. You don't have to take, the, like I said, you don't have to take the face mask completely off. Just a couple turns. That's all it really needs. And then your face mask will be free to kind of move around. And then first off, what you want to do is first take off the quick release clips. So you just kind of unscrew them. Simple as that. So I mean, it's a quick installation process. So if you do have to get it off. Uh, off and on really easy it is fairly simple so you kind of just put the face mask up a little bit and then just kind of slide the visor under and it, it, it's kind of tricky but um, you just kind of have to sometimes you just like it's not best to just make it fit but you want to get the correct fit on there and you know to make sure it's kind of aligned correctly in place so and you want to get with my face mask and some different face mask styles will be different but you have to get uh, the end the little hole there you gotta have to have that showing and put that in between the two bars there so I've got it lined up there and then I need a little extra on here so that's yeah, it's almost even Okay, so now you want to put on your quick release clips. And I went ahead and retightened my face mask back so it wouldn't be moving around when I'm trying to uh, put this on. Uh, so you want to take the little Under Armour part that shows the Under Armour logo and just try to line up, um, line it with the hole in the visor. And you'll get it in there. So I'm going to try to show that to you. Just line it up. And then take the uh, screw part and just uh, you'll just tighten it. So try to do it here. So get a nice, uh, get it about as tight as it'll go. You don't want your visor moving around. So got that one, and then you know same deal on the other side. Line it up and. All right, so there you are. It's on there. Uh, that's the best way that I've uh, been able to install a vi Under Armour visor to this uh, Rebel Speed helmet. So if you guys have any more questions on this, uh, you can leave me a comment down below. I'll be sure to answer you. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And be sure to subscribe, check out my other videos, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.